In this section, we will cover the following topics, our dashboards, user interface, navigation via workspaces, user experience, universal search, filters, and automation schedules. Now, Acumatica is an entirely browser-based ERP. This means that you can use Acumatica from most any browser on any device that has a browser and an internet connection. Today, I will be using Google Chrome, so let's get started by signing in. Acumatica is a role-based software, which means it allows users to see only the things that they need to see to do their job. Today, I'm logged in as an admin, so I can see everything, but for example, a controller would only have to see the things and be able to see the things that they need to do their job correctly, such as the finance, the payables, or the receivables. Acumatica also supports multi-currency and multi-company environments, so you can manage your multi-entity company all within the same area, no matter where they are in the world. Now, let's dive into our first topic in this section, and that topic is dashboards. There are many different dashboards that you can view throughout Acumatica. They're all incredibly useful, but I want to demonstrate the capability of dashboards, so I will show you one, which is the Customer View Dashboard. They provide a real-time view of your data. A single dashboard supports an unlimited number of reports that can give you a lot of information. You can also drill down into the nitty-gritty details of every single piece of information that you see on your screen. Dashboards are also configurable and allow every user to customize their own dashboard to look and feel the way they want it to. All you have to do is click Design, and you are able to drag and drop your tiles to different areas, or you can click the Edit button, the Delete button, or the Copy button. You can also scroll down and add a new widget, which allows you to customize any of these widgets to your needs. When in the Customer View dashboard, I can see all of the important information that I need when it comes to my customers, such as orders to ship, open opportunities, open support cases, or overdue cases, which I may want to delve into. Or I can look at our graphs, such as my items purchased in the last 12 months. I can also dive into a specific company if I wanted to by clicking on this magnifying glass right here and selecting the company that we want. Now all of the information that I see on my screen is only specific to our Alta Ace company. If I want to see all my open opportunities, then I can click here and see all of my open opportunities in one spot and some information about each of them. Now I could click on any of these opportunities and see information about them. Or I can click on my opportunities side panel. This allows me to see the information about whatever opportunity is specifically highlighted. So I could click on a different one and it would automatically refresh my side panel to see that information. I can also click on the customer view side panel to pull up the customer in all of the customer information about that one specific customer. The next topic we're going to get into is workspaces. Workspaces are those tabs on the left hand side of the screen. This is the really big place where the role-based orientation comes into the Acumatica. Me being logged in as an admin, I can see all of these different workspaces. But each individual user can configure their environment in a way that they only see the workspaces they need. To show you the capabilities of workspaces, I will show you the Payables workspace. Within the Payables workspace, we have many different forms that are separated out into categories, such as transactions, processes, or inquiries. Now, if we're not seeing the form that we need, we can click the Show All button, and this gives us every form inside of this workspace. And if there's a specific form that we use all the time within the Payables workspace, or within in any workspace, we can add as a tile to the top. By clicking these three dots at the bottom left, clicking Edit Menu, Add Tile, then we can select an icon, a title, and a form that we want it to open when we click on that tile. All workspaces have the same functionality, just with different tasks. We can see that by clicking on the Sales Order workspace. You can see that it's a very similar sort of orientation and very similar experience. If there's specific forums that we use in any workspace all the time, and we don't want to have to go looking through the different workspaces to know which one it's in, we can go up and click on the star here, and we can add them to our favorites. Now when we click on our favorites workspace, they're all just right here. Now our next topic is going to be our universal search tool within Acumatica. 
This tool allows you to search on virtually anything within Acumatica, from menu items to files to help articles. For example, if I wanted to fill out a 1099 report, but I didn't know where that was, all I have to do is go up into the search bar, type 1099, and I can see my menu items, my transactions and profiles, my help topics, and my files, all in one spot, everything that includes 1099. Now the next topic we're going to talk about within Acumatica is the filters. Filters allow you to search different parameters quickly and easily without needing custom reports. To demonstrate the power of filters, let's move back over to the Payables workspace. Within the Payables workspace, we are going to click on the Approve Bills for Payment. Once we are here, say we only want to see the bills that are over $20,000. You can click on this filter icon, we can create a new row. All we have to do is click property and click on balance. Condition we select is greater than. Our value, we type in $20,000. We click apply. Now we only see the bills that are over $20,000 in balance. Now, if we only wanted to see this filter once, that would be good with that. Or if it's something that we need to look at a lot, we can go back to our filters, click on this filter, click save, enter it as a name. So we'll say balance greater than $20,000. You can click OK and apply. Now, that filter will be saved as a separate tab above here that we can click on at any time to see our bills that are over $20,000. Filters are a very useful tool throughout all of Acumatica. Next, let's talk about automation schedules. Automation schedules can be used to schedule tasks ahead of time, so you don't need to worry about running them manually. And as an example of automation schedules, let's go to the Preparing Payments workspace. From here, I can select my payment method, which we will select a check, just for an example. Once we see all of our payments that, are, that we can pay through check, we can select each individual bill and click Process, or we can make a automation schedule by clicking the Automation Schedule button and adding it. From here, we can select when we want our automation to start and how often we want it to.